Yippee ki yay, Mother Ajax. Uh, <laughs> the name of this episode is Yippee Kayak. So, in this exceptionally hot room, made sure John wore the beanie from Maria Hammond. That's right. And I wore my sweater from Maria Hammond, referencing Die Hard. For some reason, John decides to keep his jacket on in this weather. Why not? Sure. You know, it's, it's New York. It's New York in springtime. It could snow at any moment. I know how New York weather works. Thanks to established titles for sponsoring this video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More on them after the reaction today. If you guys can leave a like, that'd be very much appreciated. And no, seriously, we, you might see us with a couple more sponsors because uh, starting up a couple new segments. One I've already mentioned, another one that you guys have no idea about. Once that's off the ground, it's gonna be exciting. And then, uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of shows too. So gonna be hiring the boys at Prepper oh. that much more. So, you know, that's why we're getting a little bit more partners to brand up with to get us through the foreseeable weeks. <laughs> yes. So, so support it's, them all. Support them all. Everyone. Let's do this. So, just to recap, you left an unmarked package on a police captain's desk on a random Monday with a suspicious message written on it that looked like it was scrawled by a crazy person. Mm-hmm. Bomb! There's a bomb! <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Yeah. Let's go! Great gift, babe. <laughs> we literally just watched Chippendale Rescue Rangers, That's which right. co-stars Andy Samberg. Mm-hmm. It's an Andy Samberg thong on our end here today. That's my boy reaction next. Little Nicky reaction after that. No, that's Adam Sandler. Your real present arrives tomorrow. There's more Charles. This is too much. Nonsense. It was just a lot of time and a lot of money. Ow. <laughs> Gina, I screwed up. I forgot to get Charles anything. Oh, well. I always knew he would die of sadness. I'm such a selfish jerk. Ooh, I could call up one of those kids and offer them a free trip to New York. I wouldn't do that. Right, because I'm a stranger and I shouldn't be luring them out of state. Good call. <laughs> Please come with me. Please, I need help picking something up. Please, Gina. I'll take a pick of Terry in the locker room for you. No towel with his foot up on the bench. Towel on, still wet from the shower. I'm in. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> You're always cold. You brought a blanket to a Mets game in mid-July. <laughs> this one thinks July 18th is mid-July. <laughs> <laughs> I'm strong, and I love to splash around in chilly water. It's not chilly. It's as cold as the waters of Cocytus, the frozen lake of hell. I'll see you there. <laughs> I can't wait to dunk my junk. Oh, yes. Uh, no. Use no. that. I've got two days of family time. Do not attempt to contact me. I do not want a repeat of last year when Scully called me 50 times on Christmas morning. Somebody's got a lot of business attention. Who are you? Barbara Corcoran? I'm clearly Lori. Nobody call me. I don't understand that reference. The comments will explain. Tell me, Jake, who's the poor sack at the bottom of your list? Actually, Amy. Amy? Yeah. Oof, that's bad. <laughs> Just give her whatever you got me. Really? But then I wouldn't have a gift for you. Would you be cool with that? No, that would eviscerate me. I'll get my coat. I'm gonna help you. Oh, no! Mm -hmm. They lock the doors, but if you're still inside, you get an extra 15 minutes to finish up. So we should just try and sneak in an entrance through the back. Boyle, you'll have to stay here. It's too dangerous. No way I let you take that risk alone. Damn it, you are loyal. Shall we? Yeah. <sighs> it worked. Cologne? Uh, it's perfume for a lady, woman. It's called Canyon Stank. It's got a man riding a burrow on it. Uh. Does it? I didn't notice. I just like the way it smelled. I wear this cologne, Jake. I'm a stank man. Um, <laughs> oh. I wanted Amy to smell more like you. Okay, a little creepy, bud. Coming on real strong. Wow, the tables have really turned. <laughs> Keep walking! Shoot, the store's being robbed. Good thing they were there. Yeah. Whoa, this is really cinematic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sealing the exits. Oh my god. It's real life time. <laughs> we don't need guns. I have a lighter, okay? We get some hairspray, make some flamethrowers. Let's fry these bitches. <laughs> Can't get in touch with anyone from the 99. Right. Amy Rosa and Holt are having the time of their lives splashing around in the freezing, filthy ocean. I'll try Terry. Oh no. 
Thank you for the food in front of us. Why would you have family, your phone there? Which is my Turned number up. one priority. Terry. There are multiple gunmen. They've blocked all the exits. They've taken the security guards hostage, and we're looking for a place to hide. It's awesome. Awesome? Awesomely serious. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. The important thing is keep Gina safe. You have a civilian with you. I'm on the way. Cool. Oh, also bring a pic of yourself in a towel coming out of the shower. Can't explain why. Okay, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Did one of your detectives lose his head of his own butt? <laughs> you don't even have a job, Zeke. I'm sick of hearing you got things brewing. The only thing you got brewing is a pot of BS. Kids, I love you. Sharon, you are perfect. Zeke, get a job. <laughs> Way to go, Terry. Well done. Tear into him. <laughs> I think his eyes got a little teary after that. I'm gonna have to assess the situation, Boyle. Plus, we're trapped on Christmas with a bunch of bad guys who are very likely German. <laughs> this is my John McClane moment. Okay. You're gonna need a tank top. You could have mine. No need. I snagged this on the way here. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll probably just skip the tank. Yeah, I will return. Okay. Gina. It looks pretty cold. I'm not. I'm actually hot. Hot and ready to get this super fun thing over with. First, a toast. Great. Let's drag this out. <laughs> I'm reminded of a beloved Christmas carol by English poet Christina Rossetti. In the bleak. <laughs> <laughs> a stone. Moan, stone, phone. We get it. Down the hatch. Let's get this over with. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Aw, <laughs> oh, yeah, you tried. Got two detectives and a civilian in there. Who's in charge? I am Ding Dong. Oh, <gasps> no. No. Happy Kwanzaa. Oh, man, you can't say that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're dealing with. Hmm? I'll call you Klaus. <laughs> you will be Gunter. <laughs> Dots over the U. An umlaut. Here's the situation. 12 terrorists, one cop. Just the way he likes it. I saw that video online. That's the tagline from the Die Hard poster. And also my high school yearbook quote. Oh, I know I recognize it. Next time, lead with that. Right, sorry. Also, there aren't 12 of them. There are seven. And they're not terrorists. They're robbers. They brought drilling equipment to break into the safe. <laughs> <laughs> Two cops and one Gina. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Where's Gina? <laughs> oh, no. She went for the hairspray. She is incorrigible. Who are you? Come here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Jake, they're taking Gina. Yeah, I know we're looking at the same thing. <laughs> what? They got Gina? I told you to watch her. I know. He's the black cop outside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh. Ask the vulture to give me some more time. He'll be reasonable. What am I talking about? It's the vulture. Tell him Tequila Tequila is doing a free show in Central Park. And how come Tilo just posted a selfie from the Kid Rock show? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him a chance to sit on his little white butt and wait for me to come rescue him. You tell him that I'm Liam Neeson and he's my hot, dumb daughter. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the fighters, see the big black now I have a mannequin arm. Nice work. Yeah. Where are you holding the hostages? I'll bet you'd like to know, eh? Canadian. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was oot, but now I'm back, eh? Meet me in the service corridor. We've got a situation with the hostages. Okie dokie. Sorry to hear a boot that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I'm a wimp, just like you said. I didn't say that, and I don't care if you go in. Be honest. <laughs> You're judging me. I'm really not. <laughs> Aww. What? Oh. Oh. Guys! Captain! Rosa! Oh, please hear me from land! Uh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! oh welcome to the front! Shut your gun! <laughs> oh. <laughs> how are we gonna get past some of that gunfight? I'll tell you how John McClane would do it. The vents. Blast the AC, they get chilly, they leave with white sweaters. No, we're gonna climb through. <laughs> Still would have some sweaters. <laughs> they leave the fine sweaters. <laughs> I think we're good. Yes. How are you? Tied up, I'm scared. 
This guy hasn't stopped farting for the last hour. Kevin Feige? <laughs> <laughs> Meet the strangest people in New York. You're a cop. I hate cops. They gave me this. Nice. Finally, a good bad guy. This dude gets it. <laughs> I've killed 10 men. And that's such a nice round number, wouldn't you agree? I mean, imagine I've killed 11 people. It just sounds so cumbersome. <laughs> yeah. Nice. You got him. Back of the buckets. <laughs> did it. And you completely botched the catchphrase. I'm pretty sure it was right. Yippee kayak, mother buckets. I got so excited, I knocked the headphones off. It's all good. <laughs> Drill. It's not for the safe. They're using it to tunnel out of here. And those farts Gina kept smelling? Uh-huh. They were Ramon. No, it was sewage. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ramon. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. I'm starving. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> Jake, oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Wow, you're really worried about me? Mm-hmm. Also, your face is so warm, and I think I have hypothermia. <laughs> Mwah. It was all Jake and Charles. Mm. Spoken like a true captain. Also, you are in trouble. You're suspended one week. But you've got a bright future. <laughs> <laughs> Go take some time off. <laughs> but I did get the Canyon Stank gift set. It's all three stanks. <laughs> I didn't forget Amy's gift. I forgot yours. The Canyon Stank was for you. What? Why didn't you just tell me? Oh, because it would have crushed my heart and ruined our friendship. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, buddy. You too, buddy. Oh, no. Gina! <gasps> Flame on! <laughs> Flame on! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> They even have the heavy metal version of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Somebody take her down! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Excellent. Oh. Damn. What a delight. Damn. Yippee kayak, mother buckets. That was good. It's good. Brooklyn Nine-Nine succeeds again. Knew they had it in them. Yep. That was good. That was a yep-isode. Jake living the dream. Can live the dream of being able to fulfill some action hero fantasies. Every guy I know wants to be an action hero in some way. It's the ultimate fantasy. Mm. But to put in the work? No. That's <laughs> that's too much. You know, it's another fantasy of mine. What's that? To become a Scottish lord. <laughs> oh, hey, I know how you can do that. We're gonna need you, boys and girls, to become a lord right now! Now you're probably thinking, isn't a lord some type of royalty? Aye! Well, not when you check out today's video sponsor, Established Titles! Becoming a big Scottish lord has never been easier. Established title packs come with at least one square foot of dedicated land Aye. and a nifty certificate. With your unique plot number so you can look upon the exact location of your land. They work with multiple global reforestation charities and plant a tree with every order. Plus they make great last minute gifts. You can officially change your name to Lord or Lady and even put it on a credit card or a plane ticket. Established Titles is running a bag sale right now. Bagpipes. <laughs> and if you use the code REALREJECTS, you'll get an additional 10% off your order. So go to EstablishedTitles.com slash REALREJECTS, my god. And officially change your name to Lord or Lady today. Put the title on a card. Hey guys! <laughs> now, now that we're lords. Now that we're deemed lords. Yes. <laughs> um, or ladies, you know. Doesn't matter. Uh, this was a delightful episode. I thought I love the reversal at the end with uh, Boyle. Yes. <laughs> with Charles becoming uh, the, the one to be the John McClane of it all. Mm -hmm. Just chopping through the van. Wife beater, tank top, wife beater. That's a fucking. That's a, that is a, for that's a weird. All thing. of my life, I have wondered how and why that became the acceptable term. Maybe the Sun magazine, when calling Johnny Depp that, they were like, "We were just talking about his shirt. He wears a lot of those shirts. <laughs> what do you want from us? Like, what's, why was that defamation? What's the big deal? <laughs> yeah. Um. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, I like that with Charles. This this is I, I like that it just really honed in on the again. It's kind of like echoing statements I said about the Chip and Dale movie <laughs> is it honed in on the on the genre of it and it kept that really exciting and felt like it felt like it knows Die Hard without just doing a parody of Die Hard. It yeah. did the it did the the things of Die Hard without parodying Die Hard, weirdly. Yeah. Because like, he just wants it to be Die Hard, but it's not anywhere near Die Hard. Yeah, and I feel like that's enough and I feel like that's a very smart choice. A, for the budget, B, for the length, C, for the amount of, you know, I like that this episode, like you pointed out, like, did have more of sort of a cinematic and intense visual flair, but, you know, there's only so much you can change the visual style of a show like this that gets produced week to week, and yeah, I thought that was a great choice, because if you know Die Hard, you're gonna have fun, but it's not like you'll only have fun if you recognize this beat and that character. It's like you point out with, with Terry out front. It's just enough, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. It's just enough to have the ally out front to have that nod or whatever, and then the things that get changed are fun, because those are the subversions. I'm surprised we didn't see any of the Zeke thing come back around. I know! It was, it was, it was a rule of two joke. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. feels like there should have been a third beat. <laughs> Yeah, I felt like it would probably would have been a longer episode. Mm -hmm. It could have been a 45-minute episode. I almost feel like, yeah, they, they, even if it I wasn't... I thought it was great. Yeah. I still thought it was great, but I, yeah. Yeah, they could have, I would have been totally fine with a 45-minute special Christmas episode or something. Oh, my God. I want that timeline. Yeah. And I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if... I wouldn't expect that they did that, but I wouldn't be surprised if this had some scenes cut out or, or stuff for time. Yeah. I, and I did like to see them being, like, badasses in the field with actually using you know, strategy and weapons around them and, like, outsmarting people. Yeah, so actually. Just, like, holding people up and freeze, you know. Yeah, well, and that's, that's the thing, too, is it's the right level of, like, okay, like, they're goofy and stuff, but when it comes time to really handle business, they can work as a team and they can get it done. You know, like, they, they know how to temper the silliness so that it's just the characters' personalities, but they actually are competent. Oh, I really like Gina. <laughs> it's a little flamethrower thing. I like that Gina wasn't scared at all. <laughs> yeah, and even when she was, I mean, just still in a Gina way, which is not really much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought that the trio of them was a really good choice. Like, to have that go, yeah, of like, oh, I, I forgot Boyle's gift, and then to have this, like, uncomfortable situation that you might already get into with some friends, and then to isolate those three. And and even the way that they played with Rosa and uh, Holt and Amy and, and using that as a means of sort of foiling them, but then also getting them back onto the scene finally and having Amy have to overcome her fear of the cold. Yeah. You know, I thought that was nice. Like, that was a nice sidebar B plot that I thought joined the A plot in a fun way. And same with Terry. You know, it's like you start out with this prospect of like, okay, his story is about him wanting to take some time off and actually just be at home. But then, you know, the way that dovetails into the main plot and everything kind of meets up. Up, I thought was really nice and gratifying. I love the vulture in this one. Yeah, yeah, too, and he's the perfect character to come and be the asshole, you know, like guy who's heading up the you yeah. know, situation. Who you know are who are Terry uh, in this situation, or the or the cop in Die Hard, you know, ultimately have to rise above. Like, yeah, and it doesn't feel in the moment like, well, you know, they're they're doing the gimmick. It just feels like a part of the show. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah thousand percent yeah this is really well realized and and really well encompassing of just the characters and world they built um and even andy like jake being excited doesn't undercut things no because this is exactly what he's always wanted yeah and i thought that was really charming he's to watch him trained his whole life for this moment yeah and even by proxy then Boyle is excited and trying <laughs> yeah. to help him get the moment you know? <laughs> yeah yeah it's really nice this was just a really. This was firing on all. This is one of those episodes that fires on all cylinders. Yeah. I mean, I think the B plot of the of the Amy and the water thing is kind of so brief and a little odd, <laughs> but I still enjoyed it. It feels yeah. I mean, and that's that goes back to me to that thing of like I feel like there was probably more for both of those B plots, but the ultimate point and the ultimate you know thing is this diehard scenario. So yeah, it's like I would have taken a little bit more from each of those. But I did think everything at the beach was funny. <laughs> yeah. Know, like the whole toast bit and everything was, was really hilarious. Ah. Well, gang. Yippee kayak. They they knocked the it out of the park again. They did. Fantastic work here from the people at Brooklyn Nine Nine. I'm a Gennaro. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's it's whatever you die hard is about. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't want to be a McLean. I just want to go live with mom. I'm a Gennaro. Stop wreaking havoc, dad. Hey, show respect. I'm sorry. Hey, big respect to the Bruce. Yeah. Big respect. All his movies are now good. Every <laughs> movie, including ones from before where it seemed like he didn't care, are good. <laughs> it's going to all be chalked up to that now. Yes, yes. Die Hard 5 is now my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all my favorites. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you around. Thanks for being here.